Now, Mr. Evil. Dr. Evil. I didn't spend six years in evil medical school to be called Mr. Thank you very much. So, I have one simple request. And that is to have sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their heads. Now, evidently, my cycloptic colleague informs me that that can't be done. Uh, can you remind me what I pay you people for? Honestly, throw me a bone here. Don't mess with me, I'm one crazy mofo. I had to pop a cop because he wasn't giving me my props in Oaktown. No? I heard that somewhere. Austin? I am your father. Really? No, not really. I can't back that up. At the age of 14, as a roastery named Vilma ritualistically shaved my testicles. There really is nothing like a shorn scrotum. It's breathtaking. I suggest you try it. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. Whoa, hello. Okay. Sick as a dog now. Okay. Okay. Din din. I want chicken. I want liver. Meow mix, meow mix. Please deliver. That makes me angry. And when Dr. Evil gets angry, Mr. Bigglesworth gets upset. And when Mr. Bigglesworth gets upset, people die! <laughs> We're not so different, you and I. However, isn't it ironic that the very things that you stand for, free love, swinging, Parties are all now in the 90s considered to be evil. Anyways, the key to this plan is the giant laser. It was invented by the noted Cambridge physicist, Dr. Parsons. Therefore, we shall call it the Alan Parsons Project. Oh my God. <laughs> what now? The Alan Parsons Project is a progressive rock band in 1982. Why don't you just call it Operation Wang Chung, ass? Our early attempts at a tractor beam went through several preparations. Preparations A through G were a complete failure. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we finally have a working tractor beam, which we shall call Preparation H. <laughs> what? Why don't you just call it Operation Ass Cream, you ass? What are your plans for this evening? I thought I'd stay in. There's a good TD movie on Skinamax. And that's how you like to live your life, is it? Yeah. Pretty much right. What? Scott? You had your chance, okay? I already had someone created in my image. He's evil, he wants to take over the world, and he fits easily into most overhead storage bin. All I'm saying, they're gonna get a- Shh. I- I'm just- We- We- Knock, knock. Who's there? Shh. Look. Shh. Let me tell you a little story about a man named Shh. Shh. Even before you start. That was a preemptive shh. Just know I have a whole bag of shh with your name on it. What do you want to do, Scott? I don't know. I was thinking I like animals. Maybe I'd be a vet. An evil vet? No. Maybe like work in a petting zoo. An evil petting zoo? You always do that! Why'd you run out on me? 
because you're not quite evil enough. But it's true. You're quasi-evil. You're semi-evil. You're the margarine of evil. You're the Diet Coke of evil. Just one calorie, not evil enough. What are you doing? I'm with it. I'm hip. Huh? Well, don't look at me like I'm frickin' Frankenstein. Give your father a hug. Hang in there, Minnie Me. If anything should happen to you, I don't know what I would do. I'd probably move on and get another replica, but there'd be a 10 minute period there when I would just be inconsolable. I'm going to place him in an easily escapable situation involving an overly elaborate and exotic death. Shit. Oh hell, let's just do what we always do. Hijack some nuclear weapons and hold the world hostage. It's come to my attention that a breakaway Russian Republic, Kreplakistan, is about to transfer a nuclear warhead to the United Nations in a few days. Here's the plan. We get the warhead and we hold the world ransom for... One million dollars. Why make trillions when we could make... Billions? Are those sharks with laser beams attached to their heads? Cool! You mean I actually have frickin' sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their frickin' heads? You're the best evil son an evil dad could ever ask for. Thank you.